Is it true that he got picked up the night of his death by the police? No, nah, he got bond. He, he he was bonded out the, the the night. He got bonded out. Oh, okay. Because there was a story that uh, the police picked him up and dropped him off in an op neighborhood the night of his past. Speculations, man. Boo hoo. Tell these people stop talking, man. <laughs> okay. Is it true that uh, his mother sued the police department because um, they came by and said that they was happy he was he died? I mean, I could believe that because Mama Pappy don't be for none. Like she. <laughs> She don't be for none, so I can believe that. I can't really say if she did or not, but I can believe that, like, cause she don't be for none, like, you feel me, like, so, you know. Another rumor was Peppy backdoor. I think so, but I only think so about the police, though. Like, that's just that's really my speculation. Like, I don't think like none of my guys, you feel me, niggas I say I love and shit I be claiming. I don't think they backdoor him, but I think the police Ali ooped him. To the, to the ops, that's what I think, you feel me? Cause folks ain't no lacquer, man. He not letting no motherfucker get up on him, man. He not coming like that. What was your favorite memory with Pappy? <laughs> Damn, I got a lot. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. So, <laughs> And I love, I love, <laughs> and the only reason I said this is my favorite baby, because it just was funny as hell to me, you feel me? So, one day his girlfriend come over his house, and um, I guess they was arguing or something, you feel me? I'm young, and I'm just watching, you feel me? And folks just, like, I guess he wanted her to leave or anything, like, I, I don't want to, like, like, matter of fact, no, nah, fuck that, I'm just thinking of another story, because I don't want to, you feel me, just throw shit in the story, you feel me, if it's not true. I want to tell you a true story, so, hmm, let's see. Okay, it's one of it's one of the guy's funerals, just passed away, you feel me? So, everybody know how funerals be, motherfuckers be emotional, so, this is, we're, this is the, before the funeral, like, literally, like, five in the morning, six in the morning, you know, motherfuckers be making to the funeral, like, seven, eight-ish, you feel me? So, we, like, five, six in the morning, you feel me? Like, we driving, me, Pappy, two other motherfuckers that I'd rather even not speak on, you feel me? So we driving, you feel me? And I'm feeling sliding. So Pappy sleep. So we just sliding. <laughs> nah, <laughs> four of them see a motherfucker lacking, you feel me? Nah, <laughs> they get the blowing. Nah, Pappy sleep the whole time. He literally lay in the back. We in the uh, we in the motherfucker Vino. So he in the back, just laid. So I'm waking him up. I'm, Pappy, bro, wake up, we just blew. I'm young as hell, you feel me? Thirsty about hearing gunshots, seeing a motherfucker die, anything. I'm wake up, we just blew. He all right, all right. So whoop, folks them blow again. So I'm like, bro, wake up, wake up. He chemo, shut the fuck up, bro. I know, damn. And go back to sleep. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like, <laughs> ever since then, I'm like, damn, this nigga just a gangster. Like, how is you sleeping through a motherfucker shooting at a whole another person? Like, <laughs> you sleeping through that shit peacefully though. Like, like that's just, that's some shit that I always stuck with me. You feel me? Like, I literally think about that shit till this day. Like, damn, I thought about that shit last week type shit. So he was a different type of person for real. Yeah, for sure. Different for type sure. of person for real. Uh, speaking of shootings, I heard uh, that you were shot at one time, and uh, I want to know what led up to you getting shot. Shit. A nigga ain't blow his gun, and I got shot. Shit. But, you know, we ain't, we ain't got to touch bases on that shit. I got shot three times, though, but that shit was years, years ago. I ain't been touched ever since then. I understand that. Um, during the streets, did that circumstance make you move move any different? Hell yeah, for sure. Cause shit, I mean, I can't really say bullets hurt because I was, you feel me? I, was, I, I damn near passed out, so I don't remember how the shit felt. I remember the after effect, you feel me? But I don't remember how the shit happened, you feel me? Like so, I can't be like, oh yeah, bullets hot, but shit, the 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 process I had to go through to get back to one hundred percent was horrible as hell. So I don't want to go through that. Hell no. Can you walk us through that process for the youth? Because a lot of them think getting shot's fun. Or that's part oh, of the for course. the youth? Shit, for the youth, I ain't going to lie. Like, let me tell y'all how I was on Folks in Grave. They had to stick a catheter in my dick, you feel me, just for me to piss. I didn't have a shit bag, but they had to stick a catheter in my dick. So all the young niggas that out here, like, y'all like to use y'all dick, I'm straight now for sure. <laughs> y'all ain't got to worry about that. But at that time... 
Going through pain like that is the worst pain ever. A catheter, that's the shit they put in females when they be going through pregnancies and shit. Like, and they got a pee hole, like, you feel me? A pussy. We have a dick. A little ass, tiny little hole that we pee out of. A motherfucker stuck something like that, you feel me? Just so I can pee, just so I can be alive. So if y'all want to be out here in the trenches, now y'all think that shit cool, then go ahead. But hell no. And then I had a, a sling, you feel me? Like my arm, my arm will never be the same, you feel me? Any motherfucker that know me, see my pictures or anything, like they know like m both of my arms are not straight. One of my arms is longer than, than the other, you feel me? Now, I never told nobody this because I always was insecure, but now I don't care no more, you feel me? Because it happened, but my left arm is shorter than my right arm because I got shot in my left arm and I didn't go to physical therapy, you feel me? I said, fuck that shit, like a young nigga, like these young niggas. I'm not finna go to no physical therapy, I'm out here with the sling, <laughs> okay? Then you're gonna have a chemo arm, then what? <laughs> then what? You feel me? So, yeah, that shit ain't cool. So, you know, but like I said, the the situation at hand, I'd rather not talk about it. But yeah, most definitely, we'll we'll, we'll skip on to something else. Um, did you go to the hospital? Because in some circumstances in the street, they don't want to go to the hospital. Did you go to the hospital? Man, I had the the police ran up on me, and I had like seven bags of crack in my mouth. <laughs> so I went to jail. I was cuffed up to the bed, you feel me? When I realized they wouldn't let my mama up, wouldn't let my baby mama up, all the guys downstairs, I'm not knowing none of this, you feel me? So I'm now they telling me, the doctor's telling me like, yeah, you, you're you being arrested, you feel me? Like, and I'm like, for what? They're like, yeah, you had crack in your mouth. I'm like, I don't even sell crack. Like, <laughs> playing dumb as hell, you feel me? Like, like, oh, well, that's what they're telling us, sir. We're trying to, I'm, oh, well, I don't do that. So I had to go to jail, you feel me? So that's another thing, like, the worst thing is being shot up and have to go to jail right after that. Like, you can't even be actually healthy, comfortable in your own space. You gotta go to fucking jail. So, man, 